Would you like to know how you can train your brain to do the right thing instead of the easy thing? I mean, many people struggle with keeping up with their habits, being fit, eating healthy, being productive, because distractions are everywhere. So how can we train our brain to do the right thing consistently on a daily basis? That's what I want to talk about in this video. If we haven't met, hi, I'm Yannick Matzner. I'm your leadership coach, standing in your corner, cheering you on and giving you all the tips and tactics and tools to truly excel in life. And this has been something I struggled with until a few years ago, I wasn't living the life that I wanted. I was shy and insecure and very lonely. And it was all because I wasn't living up to my own standards. I wasn't living like I know I should have been. I was stuck at home playing video games and watching movies because I was afraid of getting myself out there. I was afraid of being rejected. I was afraid of being disappointed again. But at some point I realized I have to change. I can't continue like this anymore because I feel miserable. I feel miserable inside. So I, need, I needed to change. So I did. I went on this journey to reinvent myself. I trained my brain to do the right things instead of the easy things. And that has completely overhauled, completely shifted my life. Now, was this journey easy? No. At first it was super tough. But now, doing the easy, doing the right thing is something I just do. It's part of who I am. It's part of my personality. So I really want to take you on this journey and share eight ideas, eight ideas that I have identified that you need to truly make the right choices on a daily basis. So you can reach that next level. And the first point is raise necessity. Necessity is so important. Most people never change because they don't have any urgency. But we need to raise the stakes. Why do you need to live your best life? And why do you need to live it now? Back then I changed simply because I, there was no way I would continue like that. It was scary as hell. But I knew I couldn't stay the same. It was just too miserable. So I had that deep motivation, a deep desire to truly change. And we have, when we have necessity, that's when we truly change and do the right things that we know we should be doing. So why do you need to reach that next level? Who is counting on you to be at your best, to give it everything that you got all the time? Secondly, Adopt the pros mindset. This is amazing quote by Stephen Pressfield, the author of the art of war, the war of art, right? And he said, the sign, the true sign of an amateur is that he is a million ideas and they all start tomorrow. We need to start today. We need to have that one idea, that one change that we want to make. And we need to make it today, not tomorrow or next week. Your change process starts right here. There will never be the right time. So we need to do it today, right now. That's what we truly need. Thirdly, we need to face our fears. I know, totally scary and not the easy thing to do. But when we face our fears, we quickly overcome them. What was once scary is now easy. So now the, the right thing has become the easy thing. So when you consistently face your fears, you consistently level up. You consistently level up because now the thing that scares you is easy. It's become the right choice. So you have now brain space to do another thing that totally scares you. We need to face our fears because otherwise 
they are our boundaries. They are our limits. When we don't go beyond them, we will never reach that next level. Then, vision. Vision, so vitally important. Most people are really stuck in the past. They cling on to their old identity. And that's what I did. But we need to create a different version of ourselves. We need to have a vision of where we want to go so we can get rid of the past, which is something to learn from, but not a place to live in, and reconnect with our future. That's when we truly change, when we have a bigger vision of ourselves, somewhere where we truly want to go. That's when we change. When I had that vision of myself becoming really confident and open and charismatic, I'm not sure if I got there, but um, that was my vision back then. That was just my vision. It doesn't have to be huge, but I had a picture of a better future. And when you have a picture of a better future, you can start living into that right now, right in this moment, because your vision isn't something to go. It is a something to come from. It comes from inside and lives inside of you. And now you just got to live it out every day. Then simplify. Simplify your life. Get rid of unnecessary choices, which aren't choices altogether. If you don't want to watch TV, get rid of your TV. Automate, simplify, eliminate. Eliminate all the bad options that you do not want to do. If you don't want to eat sugar, get rid of sugar altogether. That way you make it really hard to do those things that you don't want to do. Simplify. Make the right choices really simple, really obvious, really impossible not to do. Like every morning I have put out my workout clothes. So every morning I'm reminded, ah, got to work out right now. Then circle of genius. If you want to be fit, surround yourself with people who are ultra fit. If you want to be open, but you're not, surround yourself with people who are so open, so charismatic, that you are forced to adopt their behavior. That's what I did. So we need to have those role models because often we just do what the group does. And that's why many families, for example, who are obese, the kids are getting obese too because the whole environment is obese. It's the normal behavior. But when you get outside of the normal behavior and into an environment, which supports a different normal, you can quickly change your behavior. Now the results just have to catch up with you. So if you surround yourself with people who are ultra fit, like in the best shape you could possibly be in, you quickly catch up with them. And I know that is at first really scary. If you're really out of shape, that can be really intimidating, right? But you need to get into that zone. You need to get into that circle of people who have achieved what you want to achieve. You'll get there faster because we are product of our environment. So let's craft an environment which supports success. Then repetition builds momentum. Repetition leads to automaticity and automaticity leads to more momentum, but momentum is exponential. Research has shown that it takes approximately 66 days to make a new habit automatic. 66 days of daily repetition. But then you have the right thing as the easy thing. It has now become easier to do the right thing than not to do the right thing. But what we have to understand on that journey, momentum is exponential. At first there is no no progress. It seems like you're going nowhere. It feels really like you're going nowhere. But it's at first such a flat line. But at some point you're just taking off. You don't know when it's going to happen. But at some point you're really taking off. You just need to be consistent. You just need to be consistent on this journey. That's the requirement to make 
that next level. And then lastly, clarity. We need to have clarity of what you want to achieve. Not only that vision, but how you're going to get there. How are you going to execute? When, where and what are you going to do? You have to be really clear about it. When you get off track, what are you going to do to be on track? You really need to have answers to those questions. When you have, you make it so much easier to actually follow through. And those are the eight ideas that you need to really reach that next level, to train your brain to do the right things instead of doing the easy things. Do it long enough and it becomes part of who you are. I hope this was super valuable. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and until the next time, make sure that you live fully, live openly and be the leader of your life.